Welcome to our webinar featuring Apprise IDP Data Extraction. I'm John Chow, Product Manager for the Apprise Server SDK. And I'm Julian Ertelt, Product Marketing Manager for the Apprise Developer Suite. Today, we will present and demonstrate the new intelligent data extraction component included with the IDP functionality of Apprise's Document Processing SDK. And just a heads up, this webinar is pre-recorded uh, and John and I will be available in the live chat to answer any questions that you ask during the presentation. And we will also stay on for another 10 minutes for Q&A chat at the end. Some of the folks in the audience may know that we haven't always been a prize, but that our company was previously known as, as PDFtron. So a prize started over two decades ago as PDFtron, as it started the tackling an established market by storm through relentless innovation. And the product started as a PDF-centric SDK and quickly grew to become so much more and more comprehensive and powerful with every passing year. Today, the Apprise Server SDK supports the world's leading software companies and enterprises with the most competitive document processing solution. So really, after years of innovation, acquisitions and growth, it was time for a new brand that really represents who we are today. So we became Apprise. A name that really represents the true spectrum of our products from high code server SDKs to low code applications, all the way to end user productivity tools. Now to kick things off, we'll dive into how our developers at a price solve the problem of making data extraction just work out of the box. But before we do this, let me tell you a little story. So we really have an abundant amount of water on our planet. In fact, we probably all heard from an early age that 71% of the Earth's surface is made up of water. However, we heard at the same time that the large amount of that is salt water. In fact, it's 96.5% saline water. Uh, most fresh water is really contained in permanent ice caps, glaciers, and other permanent snow on top of mountains. And only 0.013% of all water is surface accessible fresh water. Clearly, the most logical thing to do here would be to desalinize ocean water, to remove its salt with a filtering or distillation process and easily solve all of the world's uh, fresh water supply issues. And yeah, it is possible to do that if we really need to. But the problem is that it just consumes way too much energy to be worthwhile. It's a high cost energy consuming process and therefore it's rarely done at scale. Now switching gears back to technology, Salt water is not unlike oil. If it's unrefined, oil is not really uh, that valuable and it's also much harder to use than refined oil. Yet in today's businesses, companies have more data than ever and for the most part, it's all unstructured data. It's non-data file formats that are PDF documents, scanned image files and so on. So why would you even want to extract your own data if it's all unstructured? Well, you already have the information. This is not about collecting new information from users and customers. It's about what you already have and you want to use it. It's a gold mine for operational insights. You may have terabytes worth of insurance claims, patient intake forms, contracts, all stored as PDF documents. Putting all that data to use to really understand business trends helps your company make better, more data-driven decisions. So clearly it would be the most logical thing to extract all the information from those documents into data. And a simple Google search reveals that there are a bunch of tools out there where you can do PDF to CSV conversion. So really, what is the problem with it? Well, it's really hard. Um, like getting the salt out of the water, extracting data out of PDFs is very time consuming. Uh, there are literally millions and millions of different possible layouts of PDFs, of forms, invoices, so on. The output is often turning into a data dump of an unformatted Excel file full of separate words and lines. Uh, you don't know what goes where. Uh, someone will have to review that. And making errors can be very expensive and it may not even be worth the risk to a company to, to do the whole process. And then ultimately, what you can do to mitigate the risk is to create custom extraction templates to cover all the different various uh, document layouts. And when I asked our developers, they said they love doing that, but it's not always the best use of their time. So to resolve all those issues and pains, we now show you the Apprise IDP Intelligent Data Extraction Module. 
This module covers extracting information from PDF to structure JSON, detecting tables really easily in documents, and extracting it right away with accuracy that simply just works. Uh, lastly, detecting form fields in PDF documents is also uh, included in the release and it's powered by a price AI. So we are looking forward to showing you that in a second. Uh, we will start off with PDF to structure JSON. Let's get started with extracting information from PDFs that typically feature a mix of text, articles, headlines, and so on. Every company has a huge storage of such type of documents, but its contents are often only accessible when a set of human eyes actually looks at them. With PDF to structured JSON conversion, the output retains all important structural information of a document, such as what is a paragraph, what is a headline, which font was used, what styling was used for the font. So whether your PDFs are already searchable or not, a price IDP provides an end-to-end -end solution of OCR and data extraction to help you extract all that content, not only with maximum ease, but also with the detailed JSON information. And then you can use the output to either properly sort it in a database, or you can display it elsewhere where JSON is used. A real life example for this is a financial services firm that we work with. They generate agreements for their clients and employees that need to be signed, scanned, resubmitted to CRM. So those files, they need to be uh, re-uploaded back to the CRM after you receive an actual physical signature from the customer. And to get the information about those agreements in the future, staff members need to go into the stored PDF document and then manually check by searching through it, or sometimes even just go by the visuals if the document was never converted to be searchable again. So with PDF to JSON uh, output, the entire scanned document can simply be extracted uh, to a structured JSON output. The relevant points would then be identified in a file, implemented from the JSON data anywhere else where you want to display it, such as the dashboard for the staff members. They don't even have to open the PDF anymore to quickly check the data. And now to demonstrate that, I'll hand the stage to John to demo us PDF to structured JSON conversion. Thank you, Julian. To begin your developer journey, go to dev.apprise.com and you can download an SDK for your platform and language of choice. Today, I'm using Windows. From here, you also get your trial key. This is required in order to use our SDK. You would click reveal, copy and paste it into a license key.header file. Now today I'm using C++ 64-bit. And in addition, I've also downloaded and installed the data extraction module. This zip contains the binaries and headers for the optional data extraction APIs, which we are using today to demo the IDP add-on. Let's go to some sample code. Included in the SDK, you'll find a sample project. Uh, today, we're using those samples for Visual Studio 2019, and I've already opened the data extraction test. Now, to demo the document structure, we have one method that calls a coupled document structure extract APIs. You can see here that it is a single single line of C++ in order to run the data extraction. All that is required is to call the data extraction module extract data, have your included sample PDF as input, and the text file that you would like to write it to. In this case, we have also called it paragraphs and tables.json. Feed it the document structure uh, API, and it will spit out a JSON. Let's take a look at the sample PDF that we include. This is paragraphs and tables. Uh, the first page is a, par a bunch of paragraphs of text. The second page is an invoice, which includes a couple tables and some other text elements. Here's the resulting JSON. The first page was all text paragraphs. And you can see here, each paragraph has been identified with a bounding rectangle, text styles, and the actual span containing the text therein of each paragraph. Let's take a look at page two. Now page two had some paragraph elements, as you can see here. This is the address that we saw at the top left and the phone number. Continuing on, you'll see that it identifies tables. Here's the first table. Here's the bounding rectangle for the first table a table row, a table data cell, and the text therein labeled salesperson. The next table, table cell was labeled PO number, 
The next one is requisitioner. Let's look back at the document. You can see that it has identified the header row of the first table. Let's collapse the first table and look at the second table. The second table, you can see that it has identified quantity, description, unit price, total, and so on. This identifies the headers of the second table. Each element has its own JSON, JSON section. So you can see, as you can see, a single API call can get a complete description of any PDF document in JSON. Let's hand it back to Julian. Let's talk about table detection and table data extraction. This introduces a really easy and accurate way to detect tables and extract its information. It's something we would love to take for granted. However, in reality, this is exactly why data extraction typically requires custom templates for different types of documents. So the extractor engine knows where to look for what kind of element and how to actually extract it. And this is what makes a price data extraction really attractive to companies and to developers because it's very easy to run. It produces accurate output with the most different document layouts. It understands where a table is and will extract it faithfully with or without the remainder of the document's content. A real life example from a company is an accounting firm that we worked with. They needed to go through thousands of contracts and those long contracts contained one or two tables somewhere within the contract document in different locations. So what used to happen is that after retrieving the contract, staff members had to locate the table and retrieve the data manually. The problem with data extraction was that it was possible, but since it didn't really know where to look for the table, it just extracted the entire long contract with all the text uh, into a data dump. And somewhere within that dump is the table that they actually wanted to extract. So now it was an ideal use case for a new functionality because with a price, tables could be detected reliably within the document. And once detected, the extraction API was set up as a follow-up step extracting exactly the tables that the staff members were looking for in a single step into Excel and by association into their database. And not having to maintain all those templates and to simply be able to detect and extract really saves the company not only significant time and money, but also a lot of pain. I'll now hand it back to John to show us a demonstration of how this actually works and how easy it is. Thank you, Julian. Let's walk through the test tabular data function of our sample project. Now we have single API calls that run the data extraction module tabular data extraction. Just like before, we have a single line of code that processes an input PDF into a table data JSON. Now this is slightly different than before. This JSON is geared towards tabular data. Now everything within the PDF will be recognized as a table, including non-tabular data. However, tables themselves are recognized and can be easily extracted as they are identified as single table, uh, table JSON objects. Now if JSON is not what you're after, we also do the exact same extraction, but now to an Excel file. The same data is converted to an Excel file with a similar API, except now it's called extract to XLSX. Here we have the input PDF and then the output Excel file. Let's take a look what this looks like. Now here's the initial table.pdf included in our samples. This is taken from a scientific journal. Let's take a look what it looks like in JSON. Now you can see here, it identifies table rows and table data cells. This initial, is, initial row is the title that was detected, but then you can see it detects a subsequent table here. And this one, you can see it has map, symbol, and soil name. This was the header of the actual table identified within the document. Now each table row is identified with individual table data cells with the content therein 
as you can see here, we can see uh, here's the header. Now here's the second row with BK, Bucker Field, and the description of the soil. Now let's look at the same file as an Excel. As you can see here, there was the initial headers that was identified. And then you can see subsequent, subsequently is the actual table. Let's reformat this to make it a little bit more read readable. Now you can see all the data that was identified within the PDF is within the Excel cell. Let's take a look at the uh, next document. Here we can see it's a financial table. And here's the subsequent Excel file. All data is captured, including styling. We have lines, grid lines, as well as some background shading that was identified. With that, let's pass it back to Julian. Form field detection features surprises artificial intelligence technology. If you've tried out our live demo on the website, you may have come across form field detection as a beta version. Now it's finally live and ready for prime time. This is really powerful for industries that deal with a lot of forms for all types of different scenarios. And an insurance firm with its abundance of varying client onboarding forms was a prime example for us. So before the various forms would be updated in a word periodically throughout the year, so far so good. And with all the form types and the many local variations, there was a considerable number of forms that then require manual form creation at the local level. With a price, uh, form detection powered by a price AI, um, form field detection allows a user to upload the adjusted Word or PDF document, can also be of course converted to PDF if needed, and then accurately detect all the form fields, the radio buttons, the check boxes, and other types of form elements automatically. And then if you tie in a price form designer, the detected form elements can be converted right away into a functional PDF form. Bottom line is this saves the users across the organization significant amounts of time to the end user, but also minimize risks of errors in the form and prohibiting a poor customer experience. Now let's switch back to John for another last time to show us a demonstration of this. Thank you, Julian. Now we go to our test form fields function of our sample project. Now, like previous APIs, we have a single line of code that calls the extract data function. However, now we call the eForm enumerator. What this does is it takes our input PDF and outputs a JSON doc, but this JSON is special as it only contains uh, the detected input fields that the AI algorithms can search for. Here's the output JSON. Now, as you can see, it detects fields, form text fields, check boxes, combo boxes, and in this case, also a field for a digital signature would make sense. Now, each, each element is given a confidence interval, which is determined by the AI to how sure it is that this is indeed a text field. Now, this is a very clear document with well-defined fields. So you can see that the confidence interval is very high, 99 to 98% in most cases. This AI algorithm can operate on any scanned document. And as such, these confidence intervals may change when it's less sure such as when it's just a single underline next to a text field. Now these rectangle coordinates beside each entry indicate the bounding box where this text field would live. You could take these coordinates and put it into our form creator API and add 
input forms, input form fields to this scan document. Some takeaways we want you to keep from this webinar. The IDP data extraction can unlock insights from your PDFs as JSON data to feed your databases, dashboards, or workflows to make better business decisions and drive more value for your customers and employees. Information can now be extracted easily, accurately, and reliably without it being time consuming for developers or staff to review or recreate data and forms. So, whether you have a large storage of valuable information in PDFs, or you work with a stream of files that would benefit from having targeted content pieces lifted and extracted to another database or location, a Price IDP Intelligent Data Extraction has you covered. And unlike turning salt water to fresh water, which continues to be prohibitively energy intensive to do, extracting data from PDFs is now a real business opportunity for companies to use a price. We hope you enjoyed this session and we will now conclude the webinar while John and I will stay in the chat for another 10 minutes or so to answer any questions in the Q&A. Thank you very much.